The motion of projectiles through the air is usually described by a quadratic function. You don't need to know anything about physics to solve these questions. All of the information or formulas that you'll need will be given in the question. Let's look at the following example. A toy rocket is launched vertically into the air from ground level with an initial velocity of 40 meters per second. Then, its height h after t seconds is approximated by the equation h equals negative 5 t squared plus 40 t. And then we have a few questions. A. How long will it take for the rocket to reach its maximum height? B. What is the maximum height of the rocket? And C. How long will it take for the rocket to return to the ground? Now, we can answer all of these questions using this quadratic equation here. We won't need to draw a graph, but sometimes it's helpful to imagine what the graph might look like. If we think about a rocket being launched into the air, it will go upwards at first until it runs out of momentum, and then gravity will make it fall back down over time. So the maximum height of the rocket is just going to be the maximum of our parabola, located at the vertex. You know how to find that. Our equation is in standard form, with a equals negative 5, b equals 40, and c equals 0. We have been using the formula negative b divided by 2a to find the x value of the vertex. Well, in this case, we don't have an x and y. We have h for height and t for time. So negative b over 2a will give us the t value of the vertex, or the amount of seconds that have passed since launch when the rocket is at its maximum height. Negative 40 over 2 times negative 5 equals negative 40 over negative 10 equals 4. So after 4 seconds, the rocket will reach maximum height. To find out how high that maximum height actually is, we need to find h when t equals 4. This is as easy as plugging t equals 4 into our formula. So we have negative 5 times 4 squared plus 40 times 4, which is negative 5 times 16 plus 160, which is negative 80 plus 160, which equals 80 meters. So the maximum height is 80 meters. This means that the maximum of this quadratic function occurs at 480. To find out how long it takes for the rocket to reach the ground again, we first need to answer the question, how high is the ground? Well, it's going to be height 0. So we set h to 0 and then solve our equation for t. So 0 equals negative 5t squared plus 40t. Um, we can divide both sides by negative 5, effectively getting rid of it. So we get 0 equals t squared minus 8t. And then we can factor out a t to get 0 equals t times t minus 8. So t equals 0 and t equals 8 will be our solutions. Now that first result of t equals 0 is at the beginning, before the rocket has launched. So it will take 8 seconds for the rocket to reach the ground again. Now every word problem is different. If I did an example for each type you might possibly encounter, we'd be here all day. So here are some general tips to help get you on track. Figure out what the question is asking in terms of what you know about quadratics. Is it the maximum? The x-intercepts? Maybe it's a value of y that matches with a certain x value, or vice versa. Sometimes it helps to draw a quick picture. Consider your units. How long means the question is asking for time in seconds, minutes, or hours. How far is probably answered in meters or kilometers. When you get an answer, think about if it makes sense, and if it doesn't, you should check your work.